What system of inequalities best represents the graph shown below? It says the shaded, double shaded area should be here. So I'm going to highlight this for my solution set and try to stay within the lines. And they are both dashed. I noticed that, so I do not need a line under any of the answer choices. Awesome. Okay, I see a horizontal line. And you should remember that that is y. It's crossing the y-axis at negative 2. So y negative 2. Man, they all say that. Oh. So I lay my pencil down, and I say, did it shade up or down from that line? And it shades which way? Up. So greater than is what we need. Now, if you forget, go in and spell the word less, and it will remind you which one is the less than. So that's not how you spell the less. That's how you spell it. It looks like an L, but that's above. So we don't need less, we need greater. So it's out of these two. So then we go to this line, we lay our pencil down. Did it go up or did it go down? It went down. So we need less than. And that's not less. There it is, that's less. There's the answer. You can also graph it in the calculator and uh, see if you get the right answer. But I'm gonna move on. Number seven, use the system of inequalities to answer the question. Okay, so use this, both of these. Which graph shows the solution to this system of inequalities? Okay, so let's go ahead and highlight our double shaded areas, our solution set. Let's go ahead and I just have a this worksheet is just bad. I didn't copyright. The copy center, I think I gave them a bad copy. So I'm sorry guys, I take full responsibility for that. Okay, and then double shaded area here. Um, calculator. Okay, so delete out the equal sign, and we need x plus 1. That we need it to be less than or equal to, so number 1 there x plus 1. Press the down arrow. Takes me to the next one. Delete the equal sign. Put a greater than sign so it will be dashed. Now, negative 3x minus 2. And the double shaded region sits on the right. So that looks like A. It's definitely not C. C is on the left. And B is at the top. D is at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it is A. Let's see if that is true. Solid line for the first equation that has a y-intercept of 1. So y-intercept will be here. And 1 is there. Ah, it is a solid line. The slope is 1 over 1. So it is up 1 and right 1. Ah, so that one checks out. And we forgot to check the shading, sorry. It says less than, so shade down. And it did. Okay, let's do the next one. Um, I need a dash line. I do have a dash line. I need a y-intercept of negative 2. And there it is. Slope is down 3, right 1. 1, 2, 3. There it is. And it needs to shade. It says greater than. So 
put my pencil down so I can you know, visualize the line other than just what's on the paper. Move my pencil up and that's where it is. So that is the answer. I know you like the calculator. I do too. But we still have to know how to do it by hand. Number eight. Which of the following graphs best represent the solution set to the system of the solution set to the system of linear inequalities shown below? So let's get to work. Now, Miss Pierce didn't label this one, did she? No, she did not. So let's fix it. Letter C. That's the shaded region. Um, letter A, it looks like that's the shaded region, or is it? Yeah, we're going to stop the video here, and I'm going to trim this part out and know what's what, because I don't know.